I like a Bible that's raw. And it is. Philippians, I consider my former life as dung. You know what word that can be interpreted to actually mean? <laughs> now, we wouldn't hear that word used in a pulpit because of decorum of culture. And that's fine. We should have decorum of culture. But I want us to be able to hear the words because words are there for a reason. To demand you deal with it. They are conveyors of information to your soul. And if they say your life without me is crap, but it's even better than that. <laughs> As a man, I'm not offended, I moved. You slapped me across the face and made me think about what this means. We've all heard, your righteousness was like filthy rags. Most of you wouldn't know what that is. If you go to this church, you probably do. I would, that would be one church that would teach that. <laughs> You've heard the righteousness is filthy rags. You know what the filthy rags are? Yep. Menstrual rags. <laughs> Dang. God, I'm doing pretty good, right? I'm pretty righteous and holy. I'm kind of getting there, aren't I? I know how to think and take care of these bad Christians, don't know what they're doing, but God, I got locked in. Oh no, that's self righteousness. It's like dirty little rags. Ooh, okay, I didn't want to have the dirty little rags. Or that's like bloody, dripping menstrual rags. <laughs> Yes, but you can't say stuff like that because it just feels wrong. We're at a Christian event and you're really not being appropriate. And there's boys here. And there's boys here that need to hear how God speaks. Yeah. What kind of a wuss are you that the words of God Almighty you consider offensive? You don't. Your spirit begs for me to give you those words, but your tradition denies it. Because whenever tradition trumps truth, you are a Pharisee. Period. <laughs>